What's up, everybody? I hope everything is going good. This is Hassan Shabazz coming, coming at you with another video dealing with core principles of a healthy traditional diet. If you're new to the channel and your first time stopping by, I'd like that you hit the like button and smack that like button that you subscribe to the channel and share the video. I'm sure there are many people who you know that want to learn more about how eating healthy and what is a healthy diet. This video is sponsored by Sacred Life Connections Health and Wellness Center. We do free health consultations a 50 to 60 minute uh, coaching session. First section is totally free. It's totally discreet. So if you're interested in talking with a health professional health coach, you can text us, text me at 229-425-8657. My website and other ways to contact me, my um, email, all of that is in the description of this video. So after you look look in the description blo um, box below this video, and you'll see all the information. So let's get into the video. What constitutes a healthy traditional diet? No refined foods or ingredients. So the first thing that comes to the healthy traditional diet is to have food that has no refined ingredients, no refined sugar, high fructose corn syrup, no white flour, canned foods, no pasteurized, homogenized skim or low fat milk, no refined or high hydrogenated vegetable oils, no protein powders or synthetic vitamins, no additives and artificial colorings. So those are six things that if you want a healthy diet, you should try to avoid. And number one, refined sugar, white sugar, and high fructose corn syrup, you should definitely avoid that. Try to, don't eat, try to avoid canned foods and white flour. White sugar, white flour, white rice. You want to avoid those things. And eat white potatoes sparingly. So, First six things, no refined sugar or high fructose corn syrup, no white flour, canned foods, no pasteurized, homogenized skim or low-fat milk, no refined or hydrogenated vegetable oils, no protein powders or synthetic vitamins, no additive and artificial colors. So you, you, want, you want to get your vitamin from your food. If you can't get your vitamin from your food, you can still take vitamins. Just try to, try to avoid the synthetic vitamins. And be careful with your, with your protein powders. I know a lot, of, a lot of you probably work out and you need your protein powders, but be careful with your protein powders. Also, animal protein. A protein which should be consumed raw. So if you're going to get your animal protein, many health experts advise that you consume it raw. Eggs and whole milk products, reptiles and insects, land and sea mammals, including land and waterfowl, fish and shellfish, whole animal consumption preferred that includes the muscle meat, organ, bones, and fat. Don't have to be raw, but a portion of it should be raw. They're not saying that, that you're supposed to eat your raw fish raw, although they do eat fish raw in Japan. But it's saying that some of the food should be raw. It's not saying all of it. And a lot of times, if you're going to eat insects, a lot of people eat grasshoppers. I'm, I myself would not eat grasshoppers, but that's an insect that a lot of people eat. So if you're going to eat insects, you probably could eat those raw. Be careful with the shellfish, a lot of people are allergic to shellfish. But to summarize once again, your animal protein, eggs, and whole milk products. When you, your eggs should be from free ranch chickens, chickens that are, don't have antibiotics, um, 
hormones, and your whole milk product should be pasteurized, I mean, uh, pasteurized, I mean, filtered. That should be filtered, highly filtered, free of hormones. So, land and sea, land and sea mammals, land and, land and waterfowl, fish and shellfish. I already gave you one on the shellfish. Whole animal consumption preferred. That means when you eat the animal, eat everything. The muscles, the meat, organs, bones, and fat. You can use the bones to make uh, broth, beef broth, chicken broth. So, also in a, in a, in your diet, you should have an abundance of minerals and water. So you're taking your vitamins, you want those, you want fat, soluble vitamins. And then you want vitamin A, vitamin D, and activated X, or vitamin K. Activated, activated X is vitamin K. You want water soluble vitamins, vitamin B, and vitamin C. Your food enzymes and, and beneficial bacteria, you need that. Your dairy products and meat, we well, always explain that your dairy products should be free of um, hormones. Make sure there's no hormones in your milk. Make sure there's hormones in your uh, cheese or whatever. Your dairy products should be hormone free. Your meat should be hormone and antibiotic free. You want lacto from from the vegetables. Your condiments, all that should be uh, organic. Or as clean as possible. Your fruits and vegetables should be organic or as clean as possible. Your non animal protein, your sprouter and soaked seeds, nuts and grains, all those are very good sources of protein. Um, so, this um, was adapted from Sally. Fallon Morrow's principles of healthy drink the diets. It was uh, this was published in 2000 by Weston A. Price. And if you want to check out more, you can go to the website westernprice.org. Health topics, ABCs of nutrition, the principles of healthy diets. And also it was. Um, As always, like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. When you just a just a a footnote uh, and addendum before you change your diet radically, before you radically change your diet, see a, go see a doctor. Make sure you see a doctor, a nurse practitioner, a naturopathic uh, physician. And once they give you the okay, you should start working out regularly, at least two to three times a week. Take a take a short walk, build up. Don't start, don't go crazy all at once, but build yourself up, pace yourself. Get to a point where you're walking five times a day, not five times, five times a week. I'm sorry. Make sure that you're doing you're walking you're doing at least sixty minutes of co constant activity, keeping yourself moving for sixty minutes. Go to the gym. Start out like in the gym and build yourself up. Do all of that. Do all of that, and as we mentioned in the last video you will have optimal health. You can you can get optimal health for you is not going to be optimal health for someone else. You have to get, be as healthy as you can possibly be because everybody have different things in their genetic makeup that prohibits them from, from achieving certain things. Some people are genetically presupposed to build muscle. Other people have to work very hard to build muscle. So 
you you have to that's why I have to go to a doctor and make sure what your find out what your baseline health is, and then you want to improve on that every day. You want to improve on your physical health by eating clean, having a healthy traditional diet, drinking enough water, eight to eight to ten glasses, ensuring that you get outside, get that natural vitamin D. Move your body, get that cardiovascular movement, do some stretching, keep your body limber and stretch. Physically, you want to do that. Mentally, you want to read daily. Read at least 25 pages of something daily. Do work uh, teasers. Do crossword puzzles. Play board games, play chess, checkers, etc. Do something to stimulate your mind daily. Spiritually, you want to pray. You want to um, meditate. Whatever your religious disposition is, read your scripture, pray, meditate, etc. All of that help will help you to be a have optimal health. Because true health is physical health, mental health, and spiritual health. So, the next time. We'll holler at you later, uh, 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 as I should say, peace, and we're out.